Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today what I would like to do is a separate network for AE2 and on that network we're going to craft uh, buckets of coolant. So let's get started. So from the last episode I have done a little bit of optimization here. Uh, I've reduced this down from about five channels to about two by pushing the this basic tank against this uh, fluid infuser and then being pushing the fluid into the infuser saves actually a, a couple of channels but we're going to do the same thing again today but this time we're going to um do it with coolant which requires a processing recipe and i'm going to use a separate network to do this so the first thing i'm going to do is actually going to put a little quartz fiber here because i would like to create a new network um and let's put actually i'll put this down because i probably need it as it happens one orange network like this and on here, I am going to put a, an ME interface. What we're going to be doing is crafting these buckets. The recipe for the buckets is, uh, well, this actually makes the fluid coolant with water and lapis lazuli in the fluid infusing process. Fairly straightforward. So what we're going to do is put down a full size block ME interface. And then I'm going to right click this block in the direction I would like uh, the items to go. So I want to do that. I right click it in. You'll see there's an arrow on it. Well, if I made a mistake and I want to change it, I just right click it again and, and go back to the right place. So I want to push it out in this direction. And then beside that, I'm going to put all of these items into a chest. I'll just put the chest down like that. So when we put the crafting recipe into here, which is this is the crafting recipe, we can actually order a bucket. And what will happen is uh, of coolant and what will happen is those items will go into there as long as we got them of course in stock so let's order a bucket of coolant i think i must have typed something wrong here here we can craft a bucket of coolant so what will happen now is these items have gone into here fantastic so what we do now is we would like to put onto this um oh actually that's not quite what I want. I don't want this linking into this because then then it uses a lot. It'll start to use channels more than I expect it to use. I think that's the case. So what we're going to do down here is we are going to put um, an export bus on here so we can export the items back into the system when when it's been finished. So here's my ME export bus. I can put this on afterwards, of course. I'll just do it straight away like that. Okay, so that's now going to export and what it's going to export is buckets of coolant we won't put that in yet we'll do that at the end so we can step through this bit by bit on this side of here i am going to put a an me fluid export bus i need one of those we could actually don't have to use it as that's a storage bus don't want that one i want the me fluid export bus this one and what i'd like to put beside this is the um fluid infuser so we'll put the fluid infuser down here like this and on this side we want to import fluid so let's just put the export bus to import fluids and well of course what we have to do is we have to say what fluid we're going to export so first of all have a look at this it's empty it's got power but that's from before uh, i'll have to connect it up as it happens we'll do that in a second so let's right click this and then put into here a bucket of water and that will now start to export water into this fluid infuser when we've set the sides. So we need to set the sides first of all. I need to change this to configure mode and right click this. So items, the items that we want are from the back. So let's just clear off these. I don't know whether you can press shift and no, it makes any difference. So the ones we want is to import items from the back of this machine like that and what it will be importing we haven't said yet uh, and fluids we want to be importing from the right hand side here so as we do that you can see it's already got the liquid the water into it so then what we can do is we can put on this side of here an export but another export bus this time we want to export items and what we want to export into this is a bucket uh, is a lapis lazuli sorry so those are the two items and that should start to make uh coolant but we have to where's it gone to <laughs> 
Oh, of course, we're not connected to this chest in yet. Okay, fine. This chest has got those two items. So what we have to do on this is we have to put a storage bus. Now, you can't do an import bus to do this. You have to use a storage bus because it needs some form of storage. And here you see, as soon as I did that, you got three lines and three channels in use, which just makes sense. We've got one, two, and three, and it started to process. It'll run out of power before it finishes processing, but that's no big deal. We'll just take some power from here. This is a solar generator, so we can simply put this um, onto here and bring it across like and win the weight. Let's put it down on top of that, like that. So this will continue processing and it will produce one bucket of coolant will come into here. Fantastic. So in this chest, all we should have is have a bucket. And what we need to do with this bucket, we need to put um, it into a tank as we've done it before. So let's just put down, what I would like to do is a bit sort of a str extra, I don't need to do this, but for the sake of show, demonstrating what I want to demonstrate, we will do this. Now in here, we would like to put an ME fluid storage bus like this and put that onto there. What that's going to do is it's going to store the fluid. But first of all, we have to configure this again. Now we need to configure the fluid. So we need the output of the fluid to go on the right hand side like this. And then that should, if I'm not mistaken, get stored into the bus. But in fact, it actually gets stored here. We should still have our bucket, but it's available on the network. So, for example, if I go and pinch my fluid monitor from over here, probably should make a second one. 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 And just put that down on one of these connectors. It doesn't really matter which one for the time being. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, we can do it. We can see from here we've got one bucket. So it's also got eight buckets of water. Um, and they'll be stored in here. We have eight buckets of water and one bucket of fluid. So we're seeing those two items. Let's break this again. Didn't quite go into the right place, but it it functioned as I wanted it to. So now we need to put our down our tank. So I've got a tank here, basic tank. It's actually got a little bit of coolant in now. I think I'll get rid of this coolant, first of all. To get rid of it, you just break it like that. So it's now an empty tank like that. So we can put this down. I would like to put it down facing this direction. So what we are going to do, we are going to export into this tank. So we need another key piece of cable here to connect that in here. And what we are going to do is we need to export into this tank a empty bucket. So let's do that. I need the empty bucket. I need the ME export bus. That's all right. Okay. And then what we're going to say in this ME export bus, we want to export empty buckets. So with a bit of luck, now we should see that we've got to configure this, of course. Let's configure this first of all. So slots. The input is going to be coming from the back side so we need to do that and then you can see that's automatically input we don't need to do anything else now it needs fluid so let's go to the fluid side here and what we need to do is we need to import from this side here fluid we need to tell it what fluid we need to import so we'll come to here and we'll put an me fluid export bus onto here which will be this one like that and then what we say we want to export is coolant. Let's just put a bucket of coolant into here. And that should now have, uh, this should now be empty. It is. It's going down, as you can see. Now it's empty. And this should have one bucket's worth of, actually it hasn't got one bucket's worth. But I don't know, this happened to me last time. Um, of coolant. Let's just put this bucket of coolant into that. And that will fill it up. It, somehow it disappears a little bit. So we've got 957, so there's about 43, which has somehow disappeared into the network. I suspect that's a bug, actually. And then this has gone into the output. So all we now need to do is we need to come along here. We've set up on here. Oh, I haven't got any buckets of coolant anymore. I've got a few buckets of coolant around. Let's just get one of those out of here from my extra tests. So on this one here, we're going to export buckets of, fluent, uh, of coolant. 
and here we need to input like it's good let's look, just check it's actually output oops let's go i need to configure i didn't want that to happen <laughs> that didn't shouldn't have happened let's just put that back in there and then do that again and this time it'll fill it up so on the output side which is the back side let's click that we need to go outside the back here of the output and then we need to simply say on here oh that's the exposure oh i haven't i haven't connected in yet oh it's sort of silly me right i thought there was something wrong so let's put on here now a another cable down here and here and then we simply need to put the last one of these which is an import bus which is going to import the bucket like that so of course now we have to say on the left hand side the output i said here was the wrong one it's not going out the back it's going out on the left hand side like this and as soon as we click this it should the bucket should disappear like that and then the bucket is now in actually it's gone it's already gone it's 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 been processed and we should find that that um recipe disappeared and it, which it has done if i'd actually not configured this here let's just not configure it remove that uh, it would have stayed in this chest. Let's just test that. It'll do the whole of this process um, and stay in the chest. So let's just, I've got one of those now. Let's just craft another one. So the whole process should go through. In fact, we should see it cooking. As you can see, it's cooking here now, processing that fluid. There should be a bucket waiting in here to be filled up as soon as that gets to 1,000 uh, the buckets. And when it's completed, any second now, this will disappear through like that. And then this should stay and come into here, which it has done. Yes, it is just, it just looks as though it was appearing there. But it's actually in this chest. So, of course, as soon as you put this into this filter, that will disappear out of this chest and it will complete the crafting recipe processing recipe and we get a bucket so it's just like that there are actually some things we don't need to do in this we could we could have put this tank directly against the me fluid infuser we could also put instead of having this one here we could have put a pipe to feed water out of this tank here um or even yes this tank would do we could possibly do it just move the cables around a little bit and we could feed water directly into this from uh, using the, the fluid pipes from Industrial Revolution. Uh, but what I was trying to demonstrate was using the fluid storage bus, import and export buses, and also making this a separate network. As you can see here now, there are still three channels used. The one will be the ME interface, and these two will be for... Actually... There must be four channels being used. Yeah, four channels, that's right. So the three going this way. So you've got the ME interface here, uh, the, the import bus and the export fluid export bus. That's it. And this is the where and this is where the actual processing of water buckets goes to. It pushes them into here. The ME interface into the tank, uh, basic tank, and then we could do the same trick here as it happens. That might even simplify it a little bit more. So that's complete and it work it'll work just fine um now we've actually got plenty of time left for a survival episode so let's go and grind the wither so i'm going to grind the wither in the end because this is like actually a good place to do it, it happens i've prepared the area here like this and i've got a whole load of chickens down here what i'd like to do is i'll just give these guys a little bit of poison to reduce their health a bit if I can get out <laughs> oh, of course I can't get out because I'm poisoned I have to wait a second well this bringing these guys down to half a heart they won't die but they will actually uh, be ready so we can start to prepare for the wither so it's going to be a really quick fight I hope <laughs> so with the skeleton skulls they're a real bind to get so maybe I'll use mystical agriculture I don't intend to do very much in mystical agriculture at the moment. The recipe for these are basically with a skeleton essence. 
around a blank skull. Blank skulls are made out of uh, soul dust and bone blocks. Bone blocks are just nine um, bone meal, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, and these wither skeleton essence are basically coming from wither skeleton seeds, which is a tier five, which requires one solium base seed base plus supremium essence for times four plus four soul jars. The soul jars won't be too much of a difficulty, but I guess that the rest of it is going to be a bit awkward. I, I'd quite like to do that because I've, I covered it all in my last series, so I'm not going to cover any more uh, of mystical agriculture this series. I don't think so, anyway. So, right. Let's just get out of here. If I can get off this thing, or maybe I have to run to it. There we go. So let's put down the uh, skulls. We'll get some, of course, we'll get some ro wither roses from those like that. And with a bit of luck, his head will go into the roof and I don't need to worry about him. Just get out of the way a bit. A few seconds, he should go bang. And with a bit of luck, his head will be in. <laughs> yes. So his head is in the um, bedrock. So we can just simply grind him with the sword. How much is he doing? 19. There he goes. So the wither is as easy as that. And I got 10 wither uh, roses from that. Plus two inferior essence, which will help along there. Plus a feather. And that's it. So... <laughs> Very straightforward. This basically, this a stone, this cobblestone wall was just there so the chickens couldn't get out. Let's go back home. So with our with us with our first with a star here, I'm not sure what I'd like to do with it. There are a few possibilities. Um, I think I would like to upgrade the backpack. So let's have a look at that one. The uses of the, there's quite a few uses with the uh, nether stars, as you can see. <laughs> Blocks of wither stars, uh, dank seven, with seven of those, uh, and the dank six is made up from a dank five plus crying obsidian. We've done that already, haven't we? This is the one I want. Oh, I don't know which was the one I wanted to do before. It wasn't as difficult as doing. This one. Well, that's the dank. Sorry, I want to do the backpack. So the this one here is from Kibby. Kibby has now got wither proof blocks. I tried them out, but I think you have to have, do something special with them because they were, the wither kept on glitching out of them. <laughs> Not very helpful to me. Um, where's the backpack gone? So look. That's actually no cadre. Oh, no, I need E. No, no, e, that's right. It's in my. Here we go. So let's look at the use of the bejeweled one. Right, we can do it with this recipe here. So that's what I'd like to do. I'll just do that. Soul sand. I actually don't have very much soul sand. So let's quickly go to the nether and get some. Because I would like to show you something else in the nether. Um, I have been doing some mining down there. Let's go down to the nether mine here. I've also got to be careful, it depends which mobs are about. Let's have a look in here. This is a, I've got 41 ancient debris in here. But I do have a problem with fuel as it happens. The pumps aren't working as well as they used to be doing. So this one here, it tells me it says it's 10% faster because I've only got one of these drills active. I've got one netherite drill here. And in here, as we said, we've got lots of glowstone. And the idea was to get some glowstone. Um, We've got a lot of gold and we've got this almost a stack of this and it's not very far from it. It's actually got a long way to go. It's only like 15% or something like that. But what I'd like to do is to move this down probably to the next one. I think this is the one I'd like to use. Have a look at it. Soul sand, yes, exactly. So we get another and 1.2% uh, of that. Sulfur crystals, also pretty decent. 12% closer, that's not too bad. So anyway, I'll set that up in my own time. So I'll just go and get some more soul sand and be back in a few minutes. Well, that took quite a long time to find some soul sand, but I managed to find some in the end. So let's get this backpack upgraded. Um, 
let's put it down let's actually do the uses of it and we should be able to simply click everything to place i'm going to put the backpack in the middle hopefully we don't lose any other stuff and there we get a withered backpack and the uses of this one is to make an end one which we can also do so have a look at this one how much has it got in it withering expanse so we get another oh actually get quite a lot let's go and do the last one because i've got heads no shortage of heads here let's break the stuff quickly can reach oops there we go what else did we need endstone wasn't it i've got plenty of endstone should have with some with me actually yes i probably have got someone one of these things in fact it's probably in the backpack here in the dank four and so take a stack of that and we can make the last one of these fairly quickly the use of this one it just needs to go in the middle and then we get the endless backpack a look at that one completed the challenge the end okay fantastic oh that's nice got a lot of space in that one like that a lot well that's it for this episode well that was a nice surprise at the end anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now